You'll love this, Chris. You just reminded me of this. Talk about procrastination. You want to hear me in high school. I remember it was, um, I was a, either a freshman or sophomore in high school playing hockey all the time. And I remember I went to my dad one night, real sheepish with a book in my hand. Um, it was, it, the book was called Hatchet. I even remember the name of the book because this is how life-changing this was for me. And I said, hey, dad. He goes, yeah. What is it, Bun? I was like, um, I have to have this whole book read by tomorrow because uh, there's yeah. going to be a test. And he looked at me. He's like, well, how long have you had to read it? I was like, two months. And I, Christy, <laughs> that I, your speech gave me flashbacks because you've had two months to read this. And you know what he did? Right. There's a few, there's a few things you could have done. Like, like, you know, my my dad's always been really sensible and and he always wanted me to do good. So I think the easy thing would have been just, okay, you're going to fail and you'll learn. Uh, But he didn't do that. He, he, I'll never forget this because this changed a lot of things about how I look at things. He, I remember he brought me in to his room and he, he said, sit there. And he read the whole book right there in front of me and made me like, you know, this is what happens here. Like he did it with me right there, the whole thing. Right. And I, I remember looking back on that now, like, wow, not only was that brilliant because it was kind of a punishment because I was so shameful and I didn't, I didn't fight it. I was like, yeah, whatever you need. Right. But the, uh, looking back on that now as a father, like, wow, for him to stop everything he was doing, take a few hours to read this book to me, by the way, the book was really good. I should have read it. Um, and then reading it to me, uh, I, I aced the test the next day and like the message was kind of, you know, like never again. Like, don't ever do this again. I'll help you this one time. And I got the message, right? But I think about all the lessons I learned in high school about procrastinating. Uh, you know, if you break the uh, window glass on the garage, you're going to fix it. Um, so these are all opportunities for you as a parent. And when it comes to school, I think the biggest message as a parent that I want to share. Um, and, and, and parents, your kids are going to get this if they play college sports. They're going to get this. Is that the athletic side, the sport is the reward for doing well in school. Student athlete at the high school level and the collegiate level and anything in between that, student athlete. You can tell your kids, you can reference our episode with Ed Gosick. You are not going to get to play the sport you love if you do not put the education first. And my parents were adamant with me that if you do not do the schooling right, you will not play hockey. I don't care how much you love it. And they were absolutely right to do that. It was painful at times. And I know now as a parent, that must have hurt them to do it. It's never never easy to berate your kids. 